Hello and welcome back. This is the 48th annual conference by Endocrine Society of India, ESECON 2018. Well with us we have Dr. Melinda from St. John's Medical College, Bangalore. A warm welcome to you ma'am. We are here at uh, ESI TV at ESECON 2018. We are sharing current news, opinions and all the highlights from the scientific program at ESECON 2018. And uh, it's, it's, it's really interesting to have you on board with us as interesting the topic of uh, making successful sports person in utero that you're going to have a brief discussion on Sunday in your meet. Also for our audience, could we please have uh, a quick overview as to what exactly are we talking about? Uh, hi everyone. So regarding the topic uh, for this ESICON, which is basically making of a successful sports person in utero. So what, what we are trying to look at uh, here is you know you all know there are exceptional sports people but then what is it that makes them so good what is it that makes them exceptional way better than the average person out there so there are a lot of factors one of course is what the genes that we inherit or that they are born with and then of course secondly we have the the environment you know the nurture they receive so uh, the kind of training sessions the kind of um, facilities that they are born to so someone who is training in a good facilities uh, center will obviously outdo someone who doesn't really get any training or any background of uh, such sort but then what we are specifically as endocrinologists looking at is you know is there anything that happens during those nine months that you spend in the mother's womb during which which time there's something we call fetal programming which means you know the fetus is exposed to certain particular environments and this kind of changes certain makes some alterations in the child's or the fetus's system which persists forever which is not which cannot be changed later so this is something that the child is going to carry through the entire life so if maybe it is a harmful one can we change that to a beneficial one and make it possible to have much healthier offsprings in future so that would basically be the you know gist of the discussion that we'll be sure, having sure and Sunday. what are the current uh, advances or for that matter what are the kind of challenges that you face when you talk to the would-be mothers and well, parents in general well I think um, we are really far away from kind of having a one-on-one -on -one discussion with mothers or mothers to be right now because uh, we don't have any clear-cut um, kind of you know plan where you do this and this is going to be successful we don't have that but then we, we have a general idea that healthy nutrition during pregnancy physical activity during pregnancy mother herself not being obese uh, during her pregnancy or just before she conceives even paternal obesity for that matter has been linked to poorer uh, physical um, out activity outcomes in children and it is not just that it's just it's not just the habits but it's also their performance ability as well so yeah, so uh, I think encouraging a healthy lifestyle, yes, that is something that we already do. But this is an additional benefit that you may get by pursuing that during your pregnancy. Sure, doctor, this has been a wonderful uh, topic and I'm sure it's an interesting one for all our viewers out there. So Sunday is the session that you do not want to miss, so do join in. Also talking about Bhubaneshwar, now let's talk about and get into the vibe of the city of temples here. Orissa, Bhubaneshwar ki ab hum baat karenge. So how does the entire atmosphere come to you? What are you looking forward other than to the scientific program that has been held? Well, I just landed today, so I haven't really had any time to explore Bhubaneshwar as such. But yeah, the first feeling is extremely positive because I come from Bangalore and the roads here are just amazing. They're free, yeah. <laughs> they're open, they're spacious. Whereas, you know, we, we have this really, st we struggle with traffic in Bangalore. And of course, the air is also much, much more healthier. We can feel the difference the minute we step into Bhubaneswar. And uh, we are hoping that I'll get some time to go around, see the place, do a bit of shopping, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Well, thank you so much, ma'am, for joining in thank with so us. And me. stay tuned with us at ESI TV at ESICON 2018. Thank you.